okay so what do we have next let p q and r be three atomic proposed propositional assertions let x denote p or q implies r and y denote p implies r or q implies r which one of the following is a tautology okay so what's a tautology that is always true okay a logical statement that is always true is a tautology okay so what do we have here we have x which is this and we have y which is this so let's see what we can do with this so we have x which is p or q and this thing implies r okay p or q implies r and we have this thing which is in a slightly different form so what we'll try to do is we'll try to arrange rearrange this thing such that the forms are similar okay so uh, the first thing that we should do is what we do so many times p implies q is not p or q so this is not p or q or r that's what we get all right and when we open this thing we apply the de morgan's law so this becomes not p and this becomes or and not q and close the bracket and this becomes r okay so that is fine so far and then and then you can see we have to distribute this thing inside okay this r thing will go will distribute over this this r is going to distribute over this and 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 what do you get in those cases so not p or r and not q or r this is what you are going to get and then again again the same thing for this thing and for this thing what you can do you can apply this identity so when you do this what does this become this becomes p implies r and q implies r okay so why did we do this okay if you so this is what x is okay and this is what y is so the only difference is that in the case of so this is x okay and in the case of y it is same but out here we have and okay and so the first one is x is equivalent to y so definitely not because we have the same thing p uh, so that we have the same thing but there is only difference of and and or so this is definitely not equivalent but can we say x implies y so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to write this thing so instead of this p implies r i'm going to write s and instead of this q implies r i'm going to write t so what does my x becomes s x becomes s and t okay and what does y become y becomes s or t okay so this is x this thing is x and this thing is y all right and then i'll check for b that if x implies y okay so that's the implication I need to check. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this thing out here, make a little space for myself. Okay, and then I am going to check for that thing. Okay, so let's check for x implies y. So if x implies y, so what does this mean? Does what does that mean? So basically we have to check that uh whether s and t implies s or t or not whether this thing is true or not the, because we have to find whether it's a tautology or not okay I, I suppose that makes sense so so let's assume that this thing is true and then where do we get so if this thing is true and then we can show that that in that case this has to be true then we are done this is a tautology so if this thing is true and this is and so which kind of means that s must be true and t must be true as well okay so if s is forced to be true and t is also forced to be true then this whole thing becomes true and that's it that's that's enough to show that this implication is a tautology because 
if this is true then we are getting this to be true and we don't need to care about false for implication we don't need to care about false because for false it doesn't matter whether this is true or false the implication is always gonna be true and that's option B which is true okay and then you can see these things are obviously not true because you know you cannot with this you cannot come to this okay you can you can look at that and if you do not of this you cannot come to this hmm. So only one is correct in this case, and that is x implies y, okay? Because we know x is not equivalent to y, and from that logic also only we can eliminate this, right? Because if if this and this both are true, then this would be true as well, okay? And since x implies y, so not y implies not x, not, it is, should be not x here, then it would be true. So this is not true either, okay?